And we're currently driving to where my great grandparents had started a farm and some of my old other cousins took it over for a long time and they decided they want out of it and we had just enough money after selling the farm back in McGregor to move out here. So ladies and gentlemen, we have something hopefully going to happen here today that's going to be fantastic to see. For some of you who may know this truck, this is actually the original truck that I used back when we were in the 1990s. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. This is, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, the actual homestead we'll be staying in. This is where we're going to be living over the next few months. It's a beautiful house. I want me some coffee real fast. We'll make me some coffee. Ladies and gentlemen, when the coffee is being made, do me a favor, go down to the description below and leave a like and comment down below. It really does help out the channel a lot. And me and the supporters love reading your comments and doing everything we do, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, so let's do what we do best. Ah, that tastes really good right there. Mm. That's a 10. We're gonna leave that there, and there's work that's gotta be done today. I mean, I guess while we're sitting here getting everything ready, we might as well go show off. First thing on our farm is we got the John Deere 8110. This is gonna be more of a workhorse tractor. It's definitely gonna be a main built tractor for this farm. Then for harvesters, we do have our KSI H 2388. This is gonna be our main harvester of the farm, unless we decide to upgrade on in the future. We do own a grain cart. This was left from my cousin. We do own a sprayer as well, our older farm home right here a case size deep ripper that's good to see we have our header right here which is it a draper no it's an alligator we have our two plows our anhydrous tanks that's not good to see it out there in the bush like that hey guys real quick disclaimer i just want to say thank y'all so very much for the support you've been giving the main channel but ladies and gentlemen i have a new task for y'all we are going to try to finally get a second channel going with different types of content if you want to see different types of content like minecraft 5m anything random with fun games we're not just staying to farming somebody forever but the pharmacy channel is not going anywhere so guys please go show that second channel some love let's get right back into the video so this is the fields we own ladies and gentlemen we kind of spread them out this time so we own all these fields right here and we own this fields up here so we have a lot to do today ladies and gentlemen i don't think there's really no other better place than just to jump in a harvester and start harvesting this is where the fun begins if you want to suggest like me use a certain piece of equipment ladies and gentlemen leave in the comment section down below now here's the newest piece of equipment that's technically our tractor and this is a case h magnum 3040 this is more of what's going to be used for the brents where the john deere is going to be used for more of like our mowing our planting and this is going to be mainly used for more of pulling heavy equipment pulling stuff like that because it's what it's capable of all righty and we are starting to harvest by the way i just want to point out this there is a lot of custom textures in here antler 22 did a great great job looks like the corn's done pretty decently we really need to upgrade this harvester right here get some monitors and harvester that type of stuff uh, we're gonna back up here for a second and give us a little bit more room so we can kind of knock out some better corn and so that's perfect right there we can also just run ourselves like right here and we end up harvesting all this in one yo nice you don't really need too big of a harvester for out here in this field. I'm going to do probably about two laps in this big field right here, which, ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to get to all the field today. Um, I do want to try and knock out this big field right here and then possibly move to one of the smaller fields. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. so right now we are taking the grain cart over there to the side of the field because it's currently full of corn we ended up knocking out like a pass and almost over a half which is really good to no, good ish to see this is kind of some smaller fields that's more or less what i like i'm just gonna shut the tractor off right there since it's just me working today um i have no employees hired for this so we're just gonna kind of knock out the rest of this it's gonna take me a minute to unload it ladies and gentlemen i hope you all enjoy the rest of this little time last that we gotta go on here down the last little row it's been a pretty pretty peaceful throughout this finally inner peace 
I've heard a couple of dings here and there, but I think this harvester will make it through harvest season as long as it makes the harvest season. In the off season, we can kind of go through her. I got told her that she was supposed to be running optimized and perfectly. Should be no problems with her, but you just never know with these tractors anymore. And so I'm gonna kind of fold up this, get this already pre-folding up and ready to roll out because we're about to leave here in a minute and head over to the next location. A lot of the corn that's over there in that field is a little bit wetter than I want. I know of a field that's down the road that's not so wet. And now in my opinion, is a little bit better and a little bit drier so we can harvest it correctly. All right, so right now we're gonna have some fun and try to play. Will this tractor be able to be light enough so we can not be popping willies the entire time? We're playing, oh, we're getting up there. I didn't know we had hydraulics on tractors now. Come on, push it. There we go. I'm gonna switch these tractors out to see if that other one out there will work a little bit better. I don't know if this tractor right here will pull this crank cart though. All righty, so this right here should work a little bit better than what others did. We're gonna kind of drive over here and part this for a little bit and get ready to roll on out to the next field. Oh yeah, this does pull this a little bit better. So from now on, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna put these together because this right here should work a little bit better than the others were working what we're doing right now is we're just taking uh, the corn header with us because this is on header we're gonna need honestly i don't think we'll need the grain cart but we will see oh goody all right ladies and gentlemen i'll see you after this train goes by one eternity later i just want to say that took way longer than it should have all right and now we're on a highway and we're rolling now i just want to say uh, this is the type of stuff i love looking at to have to drive a little bit of ways that we're having to drive right now to harvest a field and possibly even do other stuff it, this is awesome to see guys and girls so this is one of our fields right here this is the type of stuff that you can expect from this map beautifully trained there's not really a whole much more to say and so this is the field we're harvesting right here this one right here guys and girls we're gonna go ahead and start unfolding here and we got another field back over there we'll go take a look at it real fast like this is what i'm talking about is you got a beautiful field you got a beautiful setup you come all the way out of here you got a little bit of a grass pasture we can do some hunting back here all types of wild stuff it does look like we're yielding pretty pretty bad from this field which is kind of confirming what i was stating earlier i don't think we're going to need a wagon yeah we're definitely going to knock out this field pretty quickly <laughs> guys and girls there's not really a whole lot we can really do and guys and girls that is the end of this field it's that simple like, that's all we have to do for that field all righty so ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video right now we are sitting here waiting on the harvester to fill up i got one of the boys working in it right now i think it's jimmy i really don't know i'm not good with names i'm getting old we just loading him enough i'm gonna let him keep going but we got a large large amount of beans that need to get harvested as you can see this needs to get harvested these need to get harvested all these over here need to get harvested we have a lot a lot of beans that need to be harvested which we can do with our harvester but it'd be nice to maybe get another harvester when you're gonna get this with a harvester it seems like it's gonna be a little bit we actually need to come over here to the case site h aka the international farm mall so what we need to do is i need this right here and by the way guys i did hear some bad news the next uh, video you guys see will actually be us back over there in mcgregor iowa i did find out that my uncle buck and my uncle grant both ended up passing away over the last few days no and so of course we do have to go and pay our respects i also got told they, they left me something in their will i didn't think them old two geezers actually cared about me enough to do that so we got to go ahead and do this right here and this is going to be the bin we're going to put the corn in i'm hoping the other bin is going to be good for soybean all right so what we got to do we actually got to go ahead and pull this on over here and hopefully unload both of these hey guys real quick disclaimer i just want to say thank y'all so very much for the support you've been giving the main channel but ladies and gentlemen i have a new task for y'all we are going to try to finally get a second channel going with different types of content if you want to see different types of content like minecraft 5m anything random with fun games we're not just staying to farm and simulate forever but the pharmacy channel is not going anywhere so guys please go show that second channel some love let's get right back into the video and there we go ladies and gentlemen we are actually unloading we do have a better way we can actually be unloading faster too hold on we can do it we can do it we can do it we can do it right there so we're going directly out of the auger into uh, the branch directly up, up there and of course guys this is something new that my cousins got before they decided to sell the farm this right here is how we'll unload it so we won't have to use this big son of a gun right here like i'll say this guys you might see me run this a little bit differently than the way you saw me run the 2020s i'm gonna run this as what i would do if this was my irl farm guys just giving you a little bit of insight so i'm gonna make judgment calls that maybe some of y'all may not get but i'm making judgment calls that i would make in the state of georgia instead of like iowa or something like that because there's no really good georgia maps now hey if you're working on a georgia map you want to let me test it hit me up now guys
We're gonna let that load, and while that's unloading, what we're gonna do, we're gonna hook our truck up to our trailer over there, and I guess go take a look at this harvester that I found, and they're only charging $10,000 for the harvester. They are charging about 12 grand for both the headers, because one of the headers is the damage, one of them isn't. I mean, they're all old equipment from the 19, either 80s or 70s, I really don't know. So we need to go ahead and pull out here before that train starts to come, and we're gonna head on down to the farm. Supposed to be one of these roads. I think it's this road coming up here. Now, the farmer who owns this is a huge bean operation. He does a lot more of like beans and corn, kind of like what we do. I wouldn't mind buying some of these fields. These are gorgeous fields, ladies and gentlemen. It's beautiful. I just want to give another shout out, ladies and gentlemen, to DR Modding for letting me get a hold of this early. Thank you so very much. Antler22, great job with it, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to be an early beta tester for this, please go join his Patreon down below, and it will be for his contributor tier, which is, a, I believe, his highest tier. Please go show him some love and support and if y'all can like go to antler 22 and say here's from rhino sent you all right so this is the harvester and i guess these are the headers really like that bean header but this is the harvester it's a new holland tr99 maybe missing something i can't really tell if you could tell leave in the comment section down below i don't no. I'm joking, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, I do see the tires missing. But he said I want it. So I'm going to go talk to him. Holy Toledo, guys. Apparently, this right here used to be my uncle's harvester. Like, my uncle Buck and Uncle Grant, this used to be the harvester back in Asher Corners County. I think I remember somewhat of, like, being told Grant telling me, be careful about driving a harvester through the ditch because you might end up with a no-will situation. He said that he bought it off of a auction where they were selling scrap metal he bought it from them and he knew who it was from because he was a fan of him because i think my uncle back then used to record what he did like on like used to take pictures or something like that he said i could have it for ten thousand dollars plus the twelve thousand for these it was either bean or corn i'm not 100 sure i think it was the corn one of them was on it when he hit it so we still gotta take a look at it we may need about five six thousand dollars put into it but it's gonna be worth it that's a great idea so he did tell me i could use his volvo over here to help me load it up onto the trailer all right looks like we got it up there right there now he said like he doesn't think the feeder housing still works on it but it still does crank so we can technically drive it so we're just gonna shut it off there i'm gonna turn the truck around put the camera down and load it up all right so some maneuvering the old man came out here to help me we got it loaded up he said that he'll do me a favor take his harvester connect these up and he'll trailer them over there to my place so he'll do that for me over the next coming days which we don't need them right now we do need to fix this i've got some parts ordered i've already got another tandem wheels ordered a new axle ordered all type of stuff like that ordered for it so ladies and gentlemen we actually went and got my uncle's old harvester but hold up this is this is where my i'm gonna be like my uncle for a second oh she's squatting boys she's squatting we're doing pretty good i mean we're halfway home we're going 50 miles an hour there ain't nothing dangerous about this Oh, I bet I need to get my butt in here. All right, you see the train coming. All right, we're going to turn on into here. I'm actually not going to do that to myself. I'm going to take this outskirts of the bend since we've already harvested all this. Is she even going to fit? That's oh like a glove i'm just gonna shut that off there and i'm gonna jump on this side of this right here my guy over here he just been sitting there texting me saying hey i got this dude by the way guys we are gonna pay him here pretty soon which actually up there looks like he did go ahead and take out the money out of our account so he has one of the cash to account which would drop off those headers once he feels able to because we don't need him right now we may or may not get the harvester done between now and before we need to finish the beans but i'm also gonna say is this year i'm not owning those well technically i own those fields but those are still contracts underneath another people i will be retaining them next year so i'm not too worried about that this year i was going to try to buy them out of their lease but now knowing there's a good chance i won't have that harvester until next year i'm not really going to worry about it too much don't worry about it sweetheart we're going to let this unload into this i might hire out somebody here pretty soon to come by and pick a load on to the grain i don't know we might wait till january because we're kind of in the middle we're at the 400 range we need to be at the 800 range before we start selling and i will say this is definitely becoming the last little bit of it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna switch with jimmy here and we are gonna harvest this the rest of ourselves because this is all the corn we have left in the field guys and girls all righty so we're getting down to the last little bit the roll of shame and then we have officially finished up with the corn harvest and we have finally finished corn harvest so i can hit the button inside the cab we're gonna go unload directly into the brent wagons as it is and be able to wrap up pretty much today because we really don't want to touch soybeans we can go ahead and like get a couple things swapped over for the soybeans 
header and we'll go ahead and drop off the corn header where we need it which we really need just a bare yard entirely like i would like to eventually look into getting another shed all right so we're gonna take this over here and since i have nowhere and i know where my bean header is and this will be about the best spot for it right now before the end of harvest i need to make sure i take pick that back up and put it back on the front of this so we'll hook up to this right here and bring it where it needs to go well, they actually put the old two mugs in the ground. Hard to see, actually. These old two son of a guns finally went on up. Well, let's see what they wrote on their gravestones. Grant Nelson, go big or go home. That fits. So Buck Nelson, gone and most sincerely forgotten. At least that's what the banker said about my money. Lord have mercy, this man. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, y'all can tell we're here for a reason. I guess we got to head on over to Grant's place and Buck's place because I got told that there's some equipment that i need to go and look at and make sure i want it or i can choose to sell it i'm saying this now the properties are thought out over here are going back to the banks except bucks actually uh we don't really know what we're going to do with buck plan just yet i'm most likely i'm going to sell it all for pretty cheap and take the money over and possibly buy some more land with it we're over there in teton iowa i could move back over here but i just don't feel like that's the right move i've already lost my behind one time over here and the bankers don't like me already so go to somewhere where we can't have good fun with bankers Alrighty, so we're pulling on into the old man's place right now. It is sad, sad times. I remember all this good stuff. It was so much fun. So we're just going to pull on up into here and shut it off. They said that a lot of the equipment up here is mine. I just got to choose what I want and what's going back to the bank pretty much. Yeah, we got to take the farm off. If I'm not mistaken, this is the original farm off from when we first started back in the 1990s. Grant's pickup truck, yeah, it's coming. I mean, you just can't let certain things like that go. And there's something in here. Yeah. There she is. Grant's 2020 Ford F-350. I'm most likely going to let the bank take this as much as I don't want to, but I, I can't keep all this equipment. Now, this is where stuff gets interesting. I'm keeping the 8950. That's staying with me. Uh, the John Deere A. Uh, I'm going to let that go back to the bank. I'm letting this one go back to the bank. We don't really need that on the farm. Now, that one over there, we, we're letting go back. But this one right here, I got to at least have one. So, we're keeping that. We're letting go of this tractor right here. And we're letting go of that sprayer because I already have one of those sprayers over there in my place. All this over here is just your planters, stuff like that, cultivators. I, re I really just don't want any of this stuff. So, back there in the back, you have a Grant's Harvester or something like that. That's all going going back to the bank that had way too big of a loan for me to want to really take it but everything else pretty much is going back to the bank for grant now we got to head on over to buck's place to figure out what we're keeping from that so this field right here is all uncle buck's land we actually were renting this from uncle buck when we were over here i technically own this field now so we may rent it out to other people we may not i don't really know we most likely are gonna sell all the buck's properties and ladies and gentlemen this is where stuff gets interest this is uncle buck's now i will say ladies and gentlemen just because i don't keep something don't mean it does a whole value to me in one way or another it's just we can't keep everything Butts harvester right here. I have two harvesters. I don't really need it. Planter, don't need that. Now this. Oh yeah, we're getting this. His load star was perfect. It was a great running machine. Now this over here, he loved this little sucker to death. He was always mowing on it. He was always using it all the time. This is like his little bailing operation setup right here. But we're not gonna keep the baler. We have no reason for the baler, so we're leaving the baler. We're letting the baler be sold on auction. We're keeping this tractor though. And then of course we got the important thing that Uncle Buck gave me. Uncle Buck's train. Zam. I mean, it's just a classic. You can't afford not to keep her. She's definitely everything I would need. Like, just listen to this thing, Roar. He kept this one going so good and so well for so long. I just, I gotta keep it. His truck, we're gonna let that sell. All of his property, we're pretty much selling off. We don't really need a whole lot of it. I will say, sad to see them old guys go. Hopefully, the next few days, we'll find out how much money we made. But I gotta head back to the house now. We still got harvest to do back at our place. I'll just kind of show y'all real fast what all we were keeping and what all was me getting rid of so i'm gonna go ahead and drive back on the tahitian see when we get there so long and home we home ladies and gentlemen i ended up coming all the way home since we only live like an hour or two away i went ahead and just picked up my trailer and load up my uncle's truck and my other uncle's tractor and believe it or not we got a semi truck coming later today with the rest of their stuff but we're just gonna real quickly unload this right here and take this over here we have no space for anything i'm just gonna park it right here for a little bit because we also got a semi truck coming in a little bit hopefully everything like that goes really good 
good with unloading him real quickly get him back out on the road it's a really nice one i couldn't not let my uncle's car that he's had for many years have the best treatment that it could possibly have well it looks like the truck just arrived here we have the truck here the trailer and inside of here we have two things we have bucks camaro up top and then down here we have bucks old mule oh yeah it's all coming together so we're gonna turn it on real fast just go ahead and put her in drive and drive her on down i mean this right here is definitely gonna be like a wonderful thing i have around the farm along with everything else i mean god honestly we needed some of this materials but we're also running out of space and now we gotta do the most important part we gotta start up bucks old trans am and now we gotta pull her on out and we officially will have bucks trans am here at the place i mean hold up ladies and gentlemen i can't just finally get a hold of bucks trans am and not take it for a drive but we're gonna drive this on back to the farm and then we'll go ahead and get started into everything else we're supposed to be doing today because we still gotta get some harvest done um we need to put everything up and all the equipment's not here yet uh we got another load of trucks coming in hopefully tomorrow we're not 100 sure yet on when these truck drivers are coming in with everything i mean i've had my fun with this thing i want to take her on over here and put her in the garage because i think if i don't my uncle buck may haunt my soul at this point i will look for you i will find you I will kill you. So we had uh, just drive her on up into here. Right, we're still going to use this vehicle right here as a leisure drive. By no means necessary, this is going to become a good old pavement princess. Alrighty, so we'll get that all nice and pretty put on her. She's all comfortable. Now, same thing with my Uncle Grant's truck. She don't have a tarp. At least she didn't come with a tarp, so we're not really going to put a tarp on her. She's still going to be used as a work truck around here. Maybe not as much as my blue truck, but she, these definitely are both very important pieces of equipment to the actual farm here. Now, I can say we are getting to the point where i'm starting to think we may not have a whole lot of space and we need a little bit more space for our growing operation once we sell off everything over there at buck's house we may use those funds to completely redo all of this farm which will be perfect today perfect everything down to the last minute details in the meantime while we're waiting on that stuff to sell we got a harvester that switched over to beans and uh, i got a motivation to get everything knocked out today so we're just going to take her over here um we do have a lot of fields ready to go by the way i want to show you all this look at our yield maps from this oh it's been so bad we're going to have to definitely put it down some in hydro next time around and hopefully boost all that up to where it needs to be now it's gonna be a lot more of a working working day i'll say that much well definitely say i'm getting some hardcore feelings of driving this down the road i know this cultivator back there is perfect for what we're about to do with it we're gonna knock out some of our cultivation real fast that we have up here we got two fields that we gotta knock out oh no not the train well that's great i'm gonna just pull my little cell phone over here and let the cars go by while we're waiting on the train three hours later there she comes the end of the train thank lord after ship she's all gone and we gonna go ahead and head directly over and i do know that at some point today we need to go ahead and knock out the rest of the beans just the beans are a little tougher right now over here in these other fields i, I really didn't feel comfortable just by going into it directly so we are letting the beans take a little bit more time before we do go in and harvest them a little bit later today i do think we may just cultivate this one field over here and after we get done cultivating it what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get my wife come pick me up and take me back over to the farm let me come back over here do that a couple times but we should be coming up close to the field right now that we had harvested the other day so what we gotta do we just gotta go ahead and unfold go ahead and turn our blinkers off set it down in the ground and go ahead and start the cultivation process i'm hoping we're brazing at the top three inches i'm gonna do a good pass here to make sure but we're not 100 sure of course and you can see down there where the corn stalks are it does seem like it's trying to mix everything into the soil pretty well and if that's what it is that's perfect so we're gonna kind of stop for a second let her rest we're gonna get out here she's doing a good job i just think we can tighten up the abrasions a little bit more maybe what we can do is we can set one of these notches right here notch it one more and maybe get a little bit less of this debris what i also can do is i can bump some downforce onto her a little bit more and see how that feels on her and hopefully that feels good enough where we can go and knock out the rest of it this tractor right here is definitely making quick work of this entire farm and i love how much work it is definitely putting in
this right here is the last little bit we're going to be cultivating right now we're pretty much done with this field this field is ready to go into the winter we don't even want to fold this up because i'm going to go ahead and get my wife to come pick me up and we're going to bring the case okay, international harvester down here to start harvesting beans my wife just dropped me off over here and i've got a dilemma i could do the responsible thing and load this header up onto a trailer or i could do the nate thing and do what my uncles taught me how to do and that is drive directly to the field without putting the header on a trailer you gotta be kidding me with how many trains there is you gotta love trains no 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 thank the lord we better go ahead and cruise on through here and get right onto the road now we've got clean open room just to drive directly where we need to get to let's pull on over here into the ditch a little bit there we go flawless really starting to regret my decisions at this point i will not lie but hey you gotta go for it sometimes oh come on come on come on there we go perfect now we just gotta play around this get around it perfect but lord i'm harvesting beans i know these two fields over here should not fill up this harvester so what i'm hoping to do is i'm hoping to knock them out get back in the cultivator cultivate everything get this back to the farm and wife come pick me up then we take the cultivator back all right so we're gonna fire up the good old combine here definitely not a huge field by no means but this is type of field i like i like harvesting these fields they're a lot easier to deal with i don't have to go out there and have no huge operation and have this type of field i definitely can say that this harvester still feels like it's wanting to clump on me a little bit nothing terrible but it's clumping enough to where i'm not comfortable with the way it's operating all right i do one more field knocked out i think we have two fields total left we have this field and then we have all the way on the other side of the farm which what the plan is is everything on this side that's not attached to our direct farm will now be planted the same thing so we're not having to travel so much back and forth and i'm hoping from now on to start harvest on this side and end harvest behind the farm all right and now time to knock out this little field i know this right here is definitely smaller and that's kind of what i was looking for and hoping for so since this right here is not going to take me but a few seconds to do we're just going to go ahead and knock this out real quickly but i will say one thing i want to do is i would like to maybe eventually come in and cut down some of these trees and make this into a bigger field now this field right here i feel like we can make that back in there another field or like a hunting plot something is yielding okay but it's not yielding like it should i believe the deer may have gotten into it earlier this year which is completely fine but if that's what this is used for we need to make sure we're at least using it correctly and i'm picking the last little bit of soybeans right now that's one little kernel there we go we're done all that i got us was 31 percent yay i am dead inside of course the biggest hood of this area was what we just cultivated because we had corn on it which i was completely fine with now i'm gonna go ahead and take this make sure it's off the ground back there yep she is put her in gear make sure she's good to go and we're gonna head over here cultivate this one and cultivate the other one as fast as we can and get on to the next project So we just finished up this field right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the structure back to the farm. I do got some really good news. The dealership went ahead and got my order of the axles I needed and all that material, but I don't got the money to pay for it just yet. So we're gonna go pick up the set of wheels and hopefully get the axles in the next seven days. So we're just gonna take this directly over to the farm and hopefully go get our axles. And I'm tired of this train. I'm about to end this man's whole career. This tractor does not like to get started, I'll tell you that much. Like once she starts cruising, she starts her cruising, but it takes her a second. All right, now we're just gonna pull on over in here real fast. I'm actually gonna let Jimmy or someone, like whatever they call the kid, come over here and actually take over the cultivator for me while I just jump on into my pup truck and go pick up the parts that's needed. All right, put that down. There we go. It should be a no-brainer right here to have this kid knock out all this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start him over here in this field and get him to knock it out pretty quickly. And now we have to go pick up ourselves the wheels. I have him over there working he's working pretty good and hard i've got to go pick up the wheels i'm only picking up one set of wheels i don't remember how much the wheels are going to cost but i know they're going to be a pretty penny it's beautiful all the way out here i can definitely say that it's beautiful 
and we're coming up on to the dealership as of right now where we should have our parts and i'm gonna go inside and hopefully buy everything we need so we'll pull on in here and just go ahead and deal right here to the john deere dealership they should have everything we need all right we just spent 860 dollars on these new wheels these wheels come with everything we need hopefully to fix everything on that harvester oh yes perfect right there. we're just gonna go ahead and take this on back to the house several months later well it's been a couple months since last time i've seen everybody here we've got the majority of stuff cultivated we actually have one field that's left that's not been fully cultivated yet pretty much today's task is going to be cultivation at one field um little disclaimer the bins and the grains won't match up with everything that was in there previously i had a problem that came up the entire map completely got deleted what i did is i went back harvested all the crop i have not sold them yet that money up there is the money we got left over after paying off the bills that we had so this one's full of corn this one's for soybeans and i pretty much went back and filled up everything as quick as i could but with no further ado you can also see that there it is march we have three hundred and thirty two thousand dollars to make a farm successful one with it so what we will be doing is getting ready and actually placing down aka building a little bit bigger of a shed so we just gotta come on into here get the 8110 started she's been sitting here for a long time while that's getting started you can see here we got the new axle put on there we still got a little bit of work to do to this feeder house this hydraulics right here isn't really going to work the best so we're trying to replace that right now and once we get this fully replaced we'll be in a lot better of a situation this 8110 is definitely the most powerful tractor that we have on the farm and the most necessary tractor we have on the farm there we go and that's what we need right there and so we got to take this on with us this is going to go over to that one field and use it to cultivate that one field let's do this all right so this is where we need to turn in right here now we do own that grass field right there i'm not 100 sure if we are going to disc it in or not we might not disc it in this year we may wait for another year and disc it in later if we take that grass field out of grass we will be putting another field into grass not for any hay production or like that it's gonna be plain as day just so the field can rest but we've got a nice little bit of time we gotta sit here for and ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna let y'all enjoy a little bit of a timeline why I go ahead and get this thing cultivated and ready to go. We got this entire field cultivated looking all pretty and looking done that took way longer than i thought it was but it also looks so so good so what we're gonna do we're gonna take this back directly to the farm and start looking into doing what we're gonna do i think today we'll go ahead and mark out a little area possibly even get everything set up so we can get the building built get over here pull 
this fan. And we'll just drive on over here. She's done. I have no real need for her for a while longer. We just need to get that field cultivated and ready. Psych! I might need to go ahead and pull that tanks out. I really don't think my trust is trying to pull the tanks out. Because <sighs> what I've been told, these tanks have been in here for a minute. And here she is. Another beautiful tank. But we're just going to now put this up. And now we're just going to hit the button. Put that come down. And so now what we got to do is kind of got to take a truck. Which I really don't feel like taking mine. I'm going to take it on the grand soul truck. Alrighty, so we got this attached there. And we'll take this town a little bit. And uh, talk to them and see what's all going to be done. See doing repairs. I can't repair these tanks like the other guys can. But I can do as Maku say. Jump on up into heaven and get something built. Here she is, the addition to the family farm. So you have, that is our main, where our main cold storage is. But say hello to our new workshop. This is where we will be doing all of our big important projects will be in here. And on top of that, you have these cold tallows, which these are perfect for storing anything and everything you may need. So this now means here in a little bit, we will have enough room to be able to actually store everything in there. So we don't gotta be compacting everything which we need to go ahead while we're sitting here thinking about this. So the drive afterwards is good enough. We're actually going to take this on over to the new shed. Nothing too hard. And this right here over time we'll have it storing it with more and more equipment which what makes this one a lot better is we can actually put out the pipe in here. Yes! Yes! So that one should let us be able to work on the pipe, make sure there's nothing wrong with the pipe. I don't believe there's nothing wrong with the pipe, but we can kind of go over the full machine now and not have to worry about it as much with our equipment. This is going to be a really good shed that we will be using a lot. And ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot more to come, but that did end up cost us $300,000 exactly. And pretty much that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to pull on in here, get everything going. Shouldn't be too bad. We'll go ahead and disconnect and we'll go ahead and get everything ready to roll. Turn off the engine and the truck is now put up so now that's done right there what we gotta do today we have a lot of work ahead of us today um we actually have to go ahead and get a lot of cultivation done it's been a few days since i last saw all of you we had a couple of deliveries to the farm so this is one thing that got delivered i told you all we were keeping it the 8950 ksih it did get delivered over the last few days so this right over here got kept as well and yes here it is grant's old john deere 94 t and then we kept his 66 31 sunflower disc and these 350 horsepower so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna real quickly come in here and check the paperwork that's on my desk up here so we're gonna look at this yeah, okay all right so basically that just tells me what i knew so we can't even use our john deere 8110 we can't even use that because that has too little horsepower the only things that have enough horsepower is of course the john deere 94 which that's a little overkill it says like 400 horsepower but we also got something here in this shed that has the perfect amount of horsepower. It says 340 horsepower and it is the perfect amount. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and put it in gear. Just kind of take it over here and get everything hooked up. It shouldn't really take us too long to hook everything up. Backing on up here. There we go. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this in gear and real quickly do a quick turn. Make sure we're shifting gears right. If that's like this, I have so many gears. It's pathetic. Pathetic. We got to turn this on over here. Now we just got to go back here, make sure you connect these hoses. Make sure you always have your mask going, we're plugging that in. That's good. The anhydrous tanks are ready. We're going to hit our fold button right quick. Just on our side panel. We're going to lower the gear down a good hefty amount. Pull out to the field. I guess for how sandy it is, it don't need to be that high. So what we're going to do, we're just going to start applying. Because right now, I mean, we really have to apply a lot of this. Now, I definitely will say we're, of course, flinting this back in the corn this year. So this ripping it it will actually help out with the corn we're definitely helping everything out for what we're planning on doing this year
in finishing up this last little field right here we do have a little bit left to do nothing too major we got the majority of the fields that we're planting into corn we actually got to pick up all the seed pull the planter out so we can go ahead and knock out some of those other things because we're also at 50 percent on these tanks one of these tanks have completely emptied so we're gonna have to make sure we're continuously putting down every pound that we can but we also gotta make sure we're doing it the correct way and so this is right here the last little bit we're doing for right now i'm finished so what we're gonna do we're just gonna hit that button right there i tell my little butt over here and get it out of the way so we can do what we gotta do and get the next process of harvest and planting done shut it off there and i'm gonna go inside of here i'm gonna look in the map and see what all is left for us to do and what needs to be done like where else we need to be cultivating plowing anything like that and any all other information so it looks like we need to do some more in hydras and basically 68 57 i know needs it we'll do 71 as well we'll, we'll knock out 71 and 70 and pretty much this is gonna be beans the beans beans so we're gonna have a lot of beans but what we're gonna do with the beans we're gonna spray what they need down instead of us worrying about it we're gonna spray it i think that's the best way to go about that we're gonna go ahead and just get everything rolling and get everything ready to roll but before we can do that we gotta go head down to the store and go see if there's any seed left and go ahead and look in to get some fertilizer we did buy the totes and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and pick up the totes and come back to the seed because we didn't buy the seed and totes we bought it off of a man who sells a lot of seed and sells it in bulk well with as much seed as we need i didn't want to buy it in bag so what i did is i just went ahead and paid for it i think we paid 1200 less we would have bought containers brilliant right, so we're just gonna pull on up into here this is the dealership getting our truck off and getting everything already loaded up so that we can, can go ahead and get some stuff fertilized and spread all right so we just got this all this stuff back here we have our fertilizer ready to go now we just gotta get ourselves a wagon to be able to hold our seat in this is what i'm kind of leaning towards right here it's called the parker wagon 250 gravity and i think it's gonna be the perfect size so i'm gonna purchase it and have it at the dealership waiting on us but with that being purchased i mean we're getting closer and ready with that over there it's definitely where it needs to be so we can actually have our harvest with two harvesters this year and so it should be cranking and running and i'm going over the last little bit so i've had to replace the sieves in it but now we got to go pick up this wagon so that we can actually do our job finish out what we got to do and hopefully still have enough time left over in the day to do more all right so we just got our new parker wagon picked up we got the seed in it we are completely ready to roll out and be able to head on out now so what we're doing right now we're just taking our seed back on over to our place because we gotta fill the planter come on we just gotta do a quick u-turn right here we gotta turn on in to where we live all so we're gonna pull on into here and get everything ready to roll all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna leave that running right there get up on into here turn our tractor on hit our disconnect when that's turning on we gotta come over here and go ahead and start getting everything unfolded and took out we're gonna open this gate head gate right here real fast unload a little bit in the here don't want to put too much in there though so yeah perfect amount so now what we gotta do we gotta take our good old case h and go up ahead and hitch we're gonna bump this up enough to where we don't have to worry about it and we're filling up our boxes boys all the boxes look full now and that's exactly what we needed to do so what we're gonna do we're gonna put this in gear i'm also gonna go ahead and close this and hit that just so everything is going nice and pretty there we go he's fully ready we just gotta go through here not everything's at eye level we just gotta go through here now slowly but surely knock at each every one of these rows and hopefully get everything ready so that next time after a little bit of a time today for like the rest of my day i'm just gonna pretty much sit in the tractor and just do some in hydras work so the next time we can actually sit down and start planting all right first thing we gotta do today corn prices are immaculate we definitely need to go ahead and get some corn sold because right now we're not selling any corn we haven't sold any corn in a minute and we need money and plus i've been considering i've been talking to one of my buddies who is at the bank and he's convinced me to kind of get a loan <laughs> Yes, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> 
So that's going to be something we're doing today is hopefully go get that loan, get it approved through the bank so that we can go get an actual piece of equipment we need, which I think we need a sprayer and a sprayer box. It's going to be a huge upgrade to the farm, but we don't have to just do our own farm. We can also do contracts as well. So it'll, it'll be interesting to see how we can work this. And apparently this is the men for soybeans. Lord have mercy. So we got to pull this over here and we got to move it over here. Ladies and gentlemen, while we we're moving this, please do me a favor to leave a like and subscribe if you do best. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers and every single day we're getting closer. Thank y'all so very much from bottom of my heart. All righty, so we're going to fill up this first container. Now, yes, I know some of y'all are probably like, Nathan, this is not your averages. I know it's not. Remember, I had that incident that happened. I think it was last few episodes ago where my bins, I thought I got deleted, everything like that ruined. So I replaced it the best I could when I had to restart the whole farm. But these were all legitimately harvest crops. So the beans are going to be more because for some reason the beans were planted more in the fields than anything else. But we should be taking about all the corn we have in one good tweet. So that's going to be able to sell for, I'm hoping a good profit. I'm not 100% sure. And I know we're going to have a long truck in front of us with all this corn. All right, we're going to hit that. Turn the beacon on. And actually, I just got a phone call from my guy that's out there. He said he's going home for a little bit, grab something to eat because we actually ran out of the hydras. And with how close this rain is, I can't be wasting my time going to get in hydras right now. So I think we're done with the anhydrous. We still had a full tank left on it. So I sent them out there to do the rest of these fields as many as they could get done with the product that we started left because we don't want to have any products sitting in there wasting over the winter. All right, let's pull on here. Just go ahead and pull directly right here. Stop, 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 stop. And we shouldn't make too much off this, but it should be still a considerable amount. And the final bit just got sold. We sold it for $21,000. Not bad, not bad. So now we can go ahead and head right back to the farm where we came from and hopefully use this to be able to benefit the farm in a big way and possibly get a loan alrighty so here we have like our little loans page from our bank and of course we had a $200,000 loan on this farm at one point which we paid off with my uncle's money that we just got from him so what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about getting a loan for the farm and here we're looking at a local dealerships page and what we're going to do we're actually going to look at this it's a used self-propelled sprayer it's from John Deere and what I'm thinking about doing is I would like to pick one of these up and this is kind of what we'd be looking at buying it would not be that much it would only be $217,000 but I think with that we would need to get 84,000 well essentially so basically we would need about $350,000 is what we would need to get the farm started today which is not terrible but it's not great either so I'm gonna go ahead and apply for the loans and get everything going through alrighty so we just got the loan approved through our bank which if you look here on my phone we have a $350,000 loan we have 96 months to pay I know for a fact we can get it paid off sooner but you want to make sure you have a little bit of time in there so you, you don't have to mess your farm up and say oh you'll pay back in a year so I'm gonna go ahead and order it and get it sent down to the local dealership and go pick it up well we just picked up ourselves the sprayer and it did cost us a pretty penny but I'm glad I have another sprayer like this we will definitely be needing this on the farm a lot more with how many acres we have to spray and how much work we still need to do on the farm still so i'm gonna go ahead and take this on back to the house and we'll take a good look at it before we get in the field all right so we're pumping some liquids up into here real fast basically we're getting all the stuff we need we're now owning that sprayer over there we can actually just not use this sprayer at all we can go ahead and sell this and go ahead and make sure we're only using that sprayer because there's no reason to really have two of them now that we got that going on we do have plenty more jobs to do around here honestly i wouldn't mind doing a little bit more stuff here and there i wouldn't mind eventually just expanding a little bit further into cattle but i don't feel like we're there yet let's at least get one full year of farming underneath our bet before we just start doing cattle so for right now i'm gonna pull this right here next to this shut it off and we have that done um we can actually go ahead and take this stretch right here disconnect that fully and just pretty much go ahead and hook up to our implements and go from where we kind of need her to be because this is full planting time now it's but I do know there's a little bit more work that needs to be done to this planter before we can fully get going. So I'm just going to kind of put it right here. Let her get unfolded. And we're going to go check on the sprayer. All right. So now we're sitting in the cab. I th I'm thinking it's like the one we had. So we put the stabilizers out, which means the wheels are stabilized now. Hit our button. And there we go. We're going to have ourselves a working width that we can go through and knock out the rest of this field with real fast. And ladies and gentlemen, you'll sit back and enjoy the time lapse while we get this field knocked out.
so we got most of everything knocked out as quickly as we could i'm actually going ahead and put posting this on facebook here pretty soon and we'll get this on as fast as we can but there's still a lot left to do like we gotta go ahead and get the planting started i'm not going up start planting here i really want to start on the other side of everything so that means we get to drive down the road because i want everything planted in order and i know this is not where we're starting the corn and i've already kind of went through the machine back there a little bit and made sure everything is where it needed to be and how it needed to be so this is the first fill we got to start planting today there we go now we got the big moves now all right so we just knocked out that field right there i didn't really do a whole lot of adjusting because this isn't going to be a great yielding field by no means necessary so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and fold her up in the next fields we'll go ahead and adjust a little bit more say so we've pulled enough um we're going to get down here hopefully that wasn't too bad off shoot so i need to go down about one more inch that's what she said all right, let's kind of see if we can go a little bit further and let's see how much more she goes down. It's fine, but I don't feel like it's moving the trash out of the way enough. So this right here should be a good test once we get it all the way around. I hope it's going to be where it needs to be, but it shouldn't be too far off. All right, let's check this one more time. That's perfect. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully, to plant all these lots, but it's just going to take a lot of consistent work at it and hopefully we'll be able to get somebody to help me out here soon. And this will be the last little bit of the crop that goes over here in the plot now we are not going to fertilize this little plot right here i'm hoping this right here will keep most of the deer away from our actual other two plots we're still going to hunt this area this year i still wouldn't mind putting me a tree stand up like right over here and hopefully we can get something good like that going on so these three fields will be the first three fields that are ready to roll i'm going to try to take it a little bit slow for a second let's have a chance to get engaged and locked up and the last is hit so we can head back over to the farm right now and go get some more work done over there i don't really think we're gonna be planting much more today with how with the rain coming i would hate to have to get halfway through a field and not be able to finish up the field right, we're just gonna pull on into here fast parker right here but we do have something we want to do i got in a kit the other day that i ordered for this old john deere it only cost me a thousand bucks so it's not that bad but it's gonna finally put gps in this tractor the it can't mean that there's well, a lake there he knows where it is going this is the, the machine knows. this is the lake Stop so i'm gonna go ahead and install that kit because we may have had an issue when we we're planting because what i did is i went ahead and planted a little off camera so i went ahead and planted this field this field all three of these and that field we got one field left field 51 is gonna be corn after 51 i'm planting soybeans but to be able to do that that means we need to get this back on the road i had an incident where this planter went down on me so i had to replace one of these joints on her now that she's fixed we need to get her back out in the field so i'm gonna go ahead and get this right here fixed real fast i'll see y'all once we get everything done and definitely saying that we got this new auto guiding steering system in here she's definitely seems like she's running a lot straighter of a line than what we were before which is a lot better and it helps me out a lot more to be able to get my job done right honestly this is the first time i think i've ever really drove the auto steer system like this go ahead and lay that down planting like she's a dream now hopefully as long as we don't realistically run out of seed which we're going to definitely run out of seed between now and the end of this field i mean so i've got to go put some seed in here pretty shortly but i'm gonna try to get her to last until we run out and we are empty on seed so that means we got to go load this back up with more seed and we're getting almost out of seed but that's good we don't want to have too much overstock on the seed if anything we want bare minimum seed that we need uh, so we're just gonna turn that right there pull the old truck out here we've only got it looks like a very little amount left in here according to the scale that's in the back so let's go ahead and jump on over here and turn this on you gotta turn it on come over here there we go we gotta just back it on up because we still got a lot left to seed and plant today so i really would rather not fold it up just yet if i can help it because what i need to do is i need to swap that around and make it more accessible and there we go now yes this is not a auto turn off but we gotta deal with what we gotta deal with it's gonna if it cultivate it cultivates it i can't really help it because we still got way too much here to plant to for me to worry about a few plants here and there it is what it is ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna go ahead and put y'all into a quick time lapse real fast and let y'all sit back and enjoy
now we're just waiting on the player to fold up completely and we're about to park her for a minute because it's time to swap over for bean settings because there's a lot of beans that need to be done and not a lot of time left to do it what i'm gonna do real fast is right here i'm gonna go ahead and unfold it and turn her off right here and let that thing finish pivoting out she's ready to roll now we just gotta switch it over from corn to beans get our fuller ready to roll and then we've got more planting to do but before we do that my wife has been complaining at me for a long time about not cutting the grass around here and she won't let me do it the old bush hog so i think it's time i go ahead and take my uncle's old truck and go buy a lawnmower there's an old man that lives down here right here this house he has a lawnmower you set for sale it's an older one but he says it's a nice little one he says it's only a little less than a thousand bucks so i'm gonna go ahead and buy it i'm putting it back his truck so y'all can see what we got and we just paid for it he brought it around front it was two thousand three hundred and fifty dollars and we're gonna take this right here and load up in the back of my uncle's old truck now we gotta load it up we got ourselves the perfect little duo now that i got me my little lawnmower my wife can quit complaining at me about it and i can get the lawn cut but while we're doing that i gotta switch out those discs to make sure it's set up for bean planting so we're playing a higher population because with corn you plant a little bit lower all right i'm gonna pull one out on into here you know what i'm tired of these things take forever i'm gonna go the magical way and there we go everything switched over to beans magic we actually got the beans put in there now i'll put our pathway with the beans so we didn't really need to do anything else we'll fold her up and get everything like that going on her i wanted to use a little bit of 3d modeling i'm gonna go inside the house here and we're gonna use a little bit of 3d modeling and i want to show y'all what i'm kind of looking at getting for a little bit of a cattle farm for us this is kind of what i'm thinking about doing right here for right now and maybe getting a couple of cattle i would most likely put it like right over here in this area if not over there i might want to put up something like this or something like this just something to kind of hold over but we don't got the money for it right now and i really don't feel like we need to take out a loan i'm gonna like see what we can do by getting a grant or so to hopefully look in against some cattle may not be the worst idea looks like she's doing good let me make sure she's planting at the population rate like she is one two three four all right we got that covered up there we can kind of go through and bump it up i don't really think we need to i think it's kind of first time set at where it needs to be set first time so i'm gonna just leave it alone ladies and gentlemen and i'm gonna go ahead and knock out the rest of these fields and we'll get this stuff done as quickly as possible say you think about me because i'm starting to doubt we will find a way back to each other when you're on the other side of the world i'm here and i'm waiting but i know i can't say that we didn't end it for good reason still i'm hoping we'll be meeting soon so that is the end of planting season so what we're gonna do real fast is we're actually gonna put this up now we get down to the fun part of the year where we gotta sit back relax and find a way to do what we gotta do all right and now we've got that put up over there and now we just gotta organize the yard real fast there we go what we're gonna do we're gonna put the branch there for the year and we're just gonna kind of put everything up there's not really a whole lot that needs to be sitting out this right here can go over here sprayer i believe we gotta do a little bit of work on her to get her switched over for 
spraying herbicide instead of what we're spraying right now. We may need to spray some fungicide as well. I kind of want to look into getting a cattle operation. Possibly get a loan for the cattle. Maybe get a little cattle operation going. Put it like maybe like right in here in this area. Actually, this is only $10,000 this little barn is. I bet I could get this put up about eleven, twelve thousand $12,000 if we did everything right. And that would give us an actual little bit of cattle to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to jump in the heavens real fast. And I'm actually going to put up a cattle paddock. Three, two, one. Okay, so we got the cattle paddock down now. And it costs us $15,000 in total. So now we can actually start building up and hopefully getting this cattle paddock completely put in. I will say I'm going to look online. I think I saw a grant the other day that's for cattle. I wouldn't mind trying to get that cattle grant. Did enough just to buy like maybe 10 or 12 cattle. So we can really start going into the beef market a little bit more. So I'm going to shut that off right there real fast. And we can come over here and see the corn and everything that doing really good over there. But we are selling this tractor right here for $150,000. We're selling this cultivator right here for $50,000. We're selling this right here for $20,000. So all together, we're looking at $220,000 is what we're trying to get off all that equipment. Even though I will say that that is a reduced price, but I'm selling it to a local farmer here for a good price because we need the money ASAP. I need not only to help the loan but i really want to go ahead and start getting these cattle over here started because we have yet to do it plus we have a lot of stuff needs to be done and sprayed over today so we're going to go ahead and actually start busting some of that out here pretty shortly just to make sure it all gets done but we got a lot of cattle to do i want to try to go ahead and buy cattle with all this money we're about to get and really get the cattle business up and going and before we can get all that really doing today we've got to go ahead and go get the sprayer going but ladies and gentlemen while i'm going over here to get the sprayer started up and ready to roll ladies and gentlemen do me a favor hit the like button subscribe do what you do best and appreciate it for me and the team so i just gotta kind of sneak it on out of here make sure the wheels as close as i can get them and there we go so while we're spraying some field he said he'd come over here in a little bit to pick up those two and we're just gonna go ahead and unfold right here and just start spraying these fields every one of our fields right now is have weeds on them so we need to go ahead and spray them get them all nice and good looking so we can get our work done and by the way the reason that truck's sitting like that is because i've been messing around with some new fertilizer strands and stuff like that hopefully coming in the video soon i don't think i'm gonna make it past that and that's a really bad area right there kind of spray it back it up in here turn the sprayer off go on to the highway for set on this roadway knock out most of these weeds while we're doing this over here and now we can hit this field specifically there's a lot of a lot of weeds that need to be done ladies and gentlemen so i'm gonna do about a couple of fields for y'all and we're gonna go ahead and get this time let's go in three two one So we are out of this and the guy just called me we got it perfectly timed that he will be here in a second so i'm gonna let this refill over here while it's refilling up i'm gonna be selling that and getting that all sold over there so i'll see y'all once everything's sold and we have this back filled up <laughs> that is a great thing to see up there in that corner to see two hundred thousand dollars and in my account look at this I'm rich. And we sold it for two hundred thousand dollars at two twenty. The guy talked me down, he whittled me down a little bit, and I kind of caved for him. He's a good buddy. He's let me borrow a lot of equipment, and will continue to let me borrow equipment. So I gotta be nice to him. With that being said, we got a lot of work still to do. We got a lot of stuff still need to be sprayed. I did get out at one point. I did go over here to these fields. I may need to spray with some fungicide because I see a lot of corn rust, black tar is something I'm definitely seeing something on these lower leaves. That's a problem. So I may. 
may spray some fungicides and see if we can knock out some of it. I'm not 100% sure if we will or won't, um, but I'm hoping we will. All right, let me get back up in this sprayer. Let's get these fungicides that's on that sprayed. I uh, added it in with a herbicide for the next few fields so that we can get rid of some of it with the corn, but I did end up needing it for the soybeans as well. I'm seeing a lot of plant decay with it. I uh, don't know why I'm seeing plant decay, but we're going to go ahead and make sure we can knock out and see if it's just a fungicide taking over or if it's these weeds that's been killing them. We're going to find out slowly but surely. Um, it shouldn't definitely take us too long to knock out. The rest is filling those little fields that's over there. It is definitely nice to see this sprayer working as well as it does. I mean, I think this is like the best purchase we could have bought. I do want to see if we can get some cattle shipped in. I've already been on an online auction and I've already tried to buy a couple, but I'm just going to sit here in the cab for a little bit and try to buy a couple here and there. I'm thinking about buying Angus is kind of what we're leaning, what I'm leaning towards on the farm. It should give us plenty of good beef cattle. It shouldn't really hurt us too much. Trying to get into that kind of a business is a lot easier than a dairy business in my opinion. But we'll have to see what the what we are provided with to be able to start. I don't think it's going to take us too long to really get started on the cattle operation side. I do got to say it is nice to have a spray boom this big. Whoa! Pause on that though. I can knock out a lot of acres very very quickly and it's not going to take me hardly any time at all to knock out these acres. So we got the last little bit of the bean field sprayed. Now we got to go knock out the two corn fields. Shouldn't be that long of a drive. Oh, I hate taking that right there. But we got to take it to get to the field as fast as we can because we got very little left to do. And then it's going to be harvest season in here pretty soon. Our second harvester is looking immaculate. It is doing great. Um, over the last few months, we definitely fixed up a couple things here and there on her. So once we're going to full harvest, she'll be right there with us. Something about this track just drives way too smooth when we're driving down the highway like this. Turn on into here. And we've got three fields over here that we need to spray. I have thought about trading these fields out over here, kind of selling them to get a bigger field, but the only fields that I kind of see that are for sale are farther away, but it would be bigger fields instead of three small fields, it'd be three bigger fields. All right, so we just gotta pull on in here. Yeah, we just gotta line it up back in here. For some reason, I guess we may have planted a lower maturity corn right here in the middle. I don't know why, but I guess, I guess that's what kind of happened here. That's interesting to see, so that means this middle part ain't gonna be done nowhere near in the time that this outer parts will. I'm gonna spend more time sitting here folding this than I am gonna be on the highway. This is the problem with these smaller fields is you can legitimately sit there and spend way too much time doing that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, we should clock. Oh, there we go. That's not good at all. No, no, no. It's a brand new to me sprayer. I guess I ain't spraying these fields this year. <laughs> Oh, and I just sold my other sprayer too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess I'm going to call up a buddy of mine and see what he can do by getting this flipped back over. And looks like right, they're already right here getting everything hooked up. So let me get out here and uh, help them out. Let's get up in here. Yep. That boom is completely destroyed. Oh. That's a shame. The dealer will be out here in a little bit to hopefully look at that over. We, we're just not going to make anything off of it. And we're so far into the weeds being grown that it's just not worth even trying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the weed, leave it the way it is. And I'm just going to head over to the dealership real fast, talk to them, see what we can do about possibly buying or selling something. So we can do about at least getting our insurance off of it because there was an insurance policy on it. So our insurance company will be paying for us to have a new sprayer because we can't just go an entire season going out any sprayer especially when we just sold our other one but there's a good chance we're going to pay fifty thousand dollars for a new one what's worse that vehicle was not paid off yet so that means on top of that i gotta go explain that to the loan people and i do want to give dr modding another huge shout out for this map thank you so very much for letting me have access and my team have access to this map it has been phenomenal and antler 22 thank you so very much for making all the custom textures so this right here is a ksh 550 beautiful looking machine get on up and side looks similar ish to what we were running with the green tractor it's just the key differences of course are the fact that it does not have any john deere green star and that we can not actually put a spreader box on the back of this as well these tracks do not go out that far but this one's supposed to quote unquote have a better wheel basis to stay stabler and faster and quicker this is going to run me 250,000. so we got to spend an extra fifty thousand dollars out of our account to pay for this info but i think 
it once we pay for it in full she'll pay for herself in no time hopefully um but i'm gonna go in there and i spend the money the insurance check is already cleared so we'll go ahead and get that done and dusted all righty so i just spent three hundred thousand dollars and that leaves me with one hundred and sixty thousand dollars left in the account i'm actually going to go ahead and take the spare back and i'm gonna have one of my buddies bring back my truck for me because we actually got some stuff to go do and speaking about that we are stop over here and actually before we leave they said pull around back to get a thing of chemicals because that trailer that truck was full of chemicals thing is full of chemicals now because we still gotta get there and get the spring as fast as possible tighten that up right there all right we're good to go they filled it up for me with herbicide so we'll take this on herbicide tank down to our field and get it started come on i got it is there's something funny about just being able to drive over your field and just swoop it all in one pass all righty so now we are done with spring for the year in our brand new I can't say H. We got to this going down to where we know where we come from and we're done with it for the year. So now it's game time to finish up everything else as fast as we possibly can so that we can make sure that everything comes out to 100% like it should. What time is it? Game time! And ladies and gentlemen, we got some other good information going on in this shed. Because what we got to do, we got to back this on up in here and she's done for the year. We will not see this again until next year. But while we close the door on this for the year, it's time to get this all fired up. Like, y'all haven't really seen this running much. We've been working a lot on it. I hired some people to come in and help me and do some work on her. She has an extra long pipe now. She's everything that I would need in my good old harvester like this. And I'm willing to hook her up to the... The headers now and see how she performs now the kicker is going to be at this new feeder house we had to put in here when we work in we had to put a brand new feeder house brand new that of course the wheels are looking phenomenal on it she's looking great all the way around like i'm excited about her so we got to pull this out have her look over a couple here and there but i'll tell you we also got to look over hello gorgeous it's that time of the year again oh now this is what i'm ready for two harvesters this year bigger header on one this is the perfect setup going in this year and honestly and truly i mean we got a whole lot to do with the beans most definitely we gotta back this on up right here we're we'll gonna pull this up underneath here i'm gonna use this right here to help unload quicker and while that's loading right there i'm gonna go over here and get our other tractors hooked up to the wagons and get that pulled out and ready to roll we're gonna fill these two up right here well shoot you know what i'm gonna just pull this whole wagon up underneath it because i thought it'd be faster to do that and have some left in there but i didn't realize my wagon has towed more than that there we go now we'll fill this up the best of the way and we're gonna take it on down the road i mean we got two full brent wagons here heading on down to the van site to sell oh look at that this tractor is struggling but i am definitely getting low on diesel and i don't know where i'm gonna get that diesel from and this is where we will be selling we made forty six thousand dollars off of that one now we gotta head all the way back over there we're gonna make a lot of this back and forth and i just gotta get done hopefully we can get everything knocked out in time because i'm hoping within the next few days to actually go ahead and start and harvest one eternity later Ooh, all right so we're finally back here for a little bit so we gotta load up the rest of these hopefully it's not gonna take us that long and we're unloading the last little bit of beans and we will have uh, nothing left in the bins after these pretty much are sold um we're going up bit by bit i think we'll be about thirty thousand is where i'm guessing we'll be at which is a good solid number where i want to be $25,000 and that is everything we've ended up getting we have $233,000 going into harvest this year which yes it's not everything we've spent money on this year but we did make a considerable amount of money even after we had that bad accident I really do think we have a good chance of coming out of debt and uh, looking very good next year this is going to be a very good year uh, good, good. Just touch that right there put that down right there and we are done with this everything that's left is monogamy work there's little to anything left to go we've got to get stuff ready to rock and roll for harvest season meaning everything's got to be ready to rock and roll we got to get this up here good to go which i think she's already kind of hooked up to what she needs to be hooked up to so we need to go ahead and put the monitors in that needs to be in this tractor uh we actually need to make sure that both these harvesters are looking good i think i want to do my beans first then switch to my corn but there's a good chance it turns out to be whatever it is i'm not 100 sure what i decide to do yet so i do know we planted a lot of corn this year but we do have beans that's a little bit lower population of beans so we might try to take out the beans first 
first. But I'm expecting the corn to be a little bit higher moisture this year. So I might dry it this year. I'm not 100% sure what the game plan is. I I'm just not there yet with it. I mean, right now, just a lot of work that's getting monitors put in. So let me get all those things put in. And looking at harvest season starting maybe a little bit later, you can definitely see where all these corn stalks are starting to die off. Hoping a day or so we can get this thing harvested. Oh, it's a busy, busy morning. All the machines are warming up and getting ready to roll. We got everything switched over for bean headers. Let me go ahead and address this real fast up there on top. It does say January. I messed up big when I was doing some stuff earlier. So it says January right now. I don't mean it to be January. It's not meant to say January. It's meant to say something else. But we're going to do all the harvesting in January. So just don't pay that no attention right now. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment and I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm simply here to apologize. All right, so the first things we're gonna go ahead and knock out, and this is what we're gonna start with today. We've done a lot of work over the last few days. I got one of the younger boys coming in the five, 10 minutes to pick up the other harvester, but I'm actually going to jump in this older one because it has the bigger header, and on top of that, I wanna see how the new feeder house handles. I wanna see how everything just overall works and make sure that she does what it needs to do. Oh yes, right there. Throwing it in there good. I mean. We're looking very good. We're not looking at the best yield, but I think it's still considerably better than what we could have gotten last year. So far, we're at like eight bushels. Not too bad. But I'm going to go ahead and do a couple passes around, and hopefully we don't get any troubles. There we go. Alrighty. So off camera, I'll go ahead and show what we've done. I've already harvested all the bean fields. Everything that was left in the bean fields is in the Kenzie and the Brent wagons. And I haven't put the beans up yet because I don't know which bin is not fully cleaned out yet. This is fully cleaned. That still has some corn in it, so we'll put it in that other bin. And we'll go ahead and hook this tractor up real fast. I've been busy, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and I plan on trying to knock out the entire corn field today. That second harvester has been a godsend. Um, on top of that, I'm supposed to be having a delivery coming today or maybe i go pick it up i want to look into getting me a semi-truck trailer and with that semi-truck trailer i want to get me a cattle hauling trailer so we'll raise that up all the way then we'll back this one up in there try to hook it up there see how that works these bins right here are really really big for our size of an operation but here's the problem is i also don't want to kind of get rid of it just yet because say i go get rid of that bin tomorrow it could really cause me a lot of problems if i upgrade the farm and decide to go bigger because i'm used to a bigger style but i also wouldn't mind maybe swapping out those bins with an actual pit and everything like that so i'm gonna deal with these augers for much longer this auger is annoying as i'll get out on top of with it being annoying i mean it's also something i think we need to really upgrade come on stop 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 right. now here's the question yep it's going directly into there so we're going to unload that while that's unloading we'll go ahead and get this started up so what we're not going to do is we're not going to take both the harvesters with us to the three fields 
that's on the other side of the woods we're going to only take one and that's just so we don't have to sit here forever dealing with it i have a boy coming out and i'm hiring he's gonna take my tractor here while that's go ahead and emptying into there we'll go ahead and get everything ready i'm just gonna take the big one the big mama jamma we're just gonna drive down the road really with it or not really necessarily the road but you'll, you'll see what we're planning on doing here in a minute but this is kind of what we're planning on doing is taking this harvester right here everything's kind of pushed into it like it should be the harvester performed great i really didn't see no problems with it i really don't think there'll be any problems with them but we'll we'll just have to see over some time um i definitely do know we got a lot of this stuff to empty out so i'm gonna let this empty out and i'll be right back here in a minute all righty so we will go ahead and park this over here go ahead and turn that off right there shut it off i will say something about that it just looks beautiful wow now we just gotta pull on out of here all right so right now we are on the road i got one of the boys following right now with the green cart so we'll go ahead and pull over here so that we don't gotta deal with that right there that's should pretty nice seeing your green cart driving behind you um i definitely do think he needs to grow up a little bit more in learning how to drive green carts there you go buddy he's slowly but surely figuring out just part of the growing pains so what i'm gonna do to start with is i'm gonna start with the other fields then i'm gonna work my way back for here so that he's not having to wait out here too much yeah i think it's best if we don't start with this part right here first for him so we start around by and then figure everything out from there and i'll know better so what i'm going to do mainly is probably just get him to sit into the side over here while i do some harvesting and i think he did a pretty good job getting over here let me help him out let him take a little bit of a break for right now and we got to get over here and get to harvesting that's the first bit of corn harvest we got to do and i don't know about you guys but i've been excited for this all day long it's finally my favorite time of the year where we finally get to sit back relax and just harvest some corn the corn moisture is definitely a little bit more on the drier side the only real way to combat like some of the moisture problems we're having right now it's a little too dry and so what's happening is it's shattering inside of the harvester a little bit more what i want to kind of do for some of the other fields we'll wait for the next day but this corn over here is technically not as low of a moisture it's still high enough of a moisture it holds together a little bit firmer so i've talked to some some of the other farmers right here in this area they said if it's not that low of moisture but it's not that high of moisture you should just go ahead and take what you can get especially out of these fields out here i mean at the end of the day these are were riddled with deer so there's no really fixing these fields that much i don't know the guy i was talking to yesterday said that he lost basically an entire field worth of corn because of deer i want to know what that back is going to produce because i'm not expecting that much out of it because of the deer but this field does seem like it's yielding decently we're saying this year the we're in the yellow which is where we want to be so that gives us a little bit more hope going into the future and i also think going into next year when now having two working harvesters i wonder if i can't bail both harvesters and maybe look into getting an, a better harvester that's going to harvest this stuff faster i'm thinking about just getting the better harvester that can go over this a little bit better with a better header that can maybe hit those higher speeds because i've heard there are headers out that can go a lot faster i know each one of our harvesters maybe have a 100 dollars worth in value including their headers so if we can maybe find one solid harvest all the way around maybe we can really produce a lot more better numbers even if it's like more of a fixer upper i'm willing to put that work towards a really well running machine than currently what we have right now i can fix that the grain sample is looking clear but it's not looking the best but it's where we want it to be at the end of the day we're not going for the best tank at the end of the day we're not going for this we're not going for that we are running older but new enough equipment they're worth a pretty penny and that was to help benefit the farm when i finally had that boy earlier come over and help me out the other day we were knocking out beans left right and center like i'm hoping to do with the corn later today when the other boy comes over so i don't feel like taking two harvesters all the way over here just to go back over there in a matter of a few minutes when I could just take one hour sure spend a little bit more time here and waste less than diesel this year we're already 80% and we're not even well I'll give us halfway done with this field so it just shows what kind of yields you can do if you really put a lot of effort in and just really put your head down and grind and get this stuff where it needs to be all right we're pretty pretty full for what the scale says on the inside so i'm just gonna go ahead and take it over here and dump it all out which this unloading auger is ungodly slow so we'll go ahead and pour that out in there 
there. And while that's pouring out, we'll take a look at like the job is doing. It's definitely leaving some stops. I do wish I had some grinders or some chopping, some stock choppers at the bottom to help spread that out. But it does look beautiful out here with how beautiful these stops look. But I do feel like there's a better way to consistently do that. All right, there we go. The first load done. Maybe we can fit like another two out of this. And if we could, that'd be kind of nice. See, I'm hoping personally for at least one more, but there's no guaranteeing with it. And this point, we may get it. We may not. I do lean more on the fact that this was the biggest field that we do have out here. So I will give that the credit. All right, there we go. We got this one knocked out. Yeah, it's definitely yielding a lot better than it did last year, but it's not yielding the best. And there we go. We got the last little bit of this field. So we'll turn that off and go ahead and put the pipe out. We'll empty out what we got left in the tank. Lower that field just in case for some reason we're producing stupid numbers. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to go ahead and take it up there to the next field. Knock that out. Come back down here. Unload and then take everything on back to the farm. Well, they're getting this field knocked out. I do think we did a good enough job knocking out some of that black power before it really got really bad. Well, we just finished up that field. We'll head back down here and grab the little dude. And we'll head on back down towards the shop. So we're going to go ahead and take this song. I told him not to follow ass closed this time like he did last time. So he wasn't pedaling it as much. So this field ended up having, in my opinion a lot more of the weed and stuff like that we tried killing off with the spray and for some reason it really didn't affect a lot of these weeds so that tells me we had a little bit different of a style of weeds than what we sprayed for this year so going into next year we will kind of identify those weeds a little bit better and make sure we're spraying for those specific weeds and we're like kind of make it through this right here and turn it into here hopefully we can get over there as quickly as possible but there's no guarantees at this point and ladies and gentlemen we met back to our property where we came from um what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna get him to switch over to one of the other harvesters because there's a lot of stuff needs to be harvested and we don't got a whole lot of time for it so all right we got him on in there and we're gonna go take this around and go dump it into one place and get the other harvester right here see if we can get one of the other kids to come up here kind of manage the great cart for them. so what we're also going to do we're also going to go back and forth a few times just to make sure we got all the room we possibly will need so that we're not accidentally running over any corn that's necessarily needed Turn this around, and we will do this last row. My cows should be here in a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set this up here. And there we go, she's going as fast as she can, getting everything like that knocked out, getting all that corn harvested. And so now what we gotta do, we gotta jump into this. And here in a little bit, the cattle will be delivered. Like a small fish in a big pond. I think I go back where I came from. Where everybody knows my name. Alrighty, he just went inside real fast. By the way, I want to take a good look at this. This is a load of star. This is a beautiful truck and trailer. But he just delivered us 12 cattle. We got to feed these suckers now. Hey, good girl. We got to feed them. We got to give them bedding. That's a lot of money we got to put towards these things. Maybe we'll pick up a couple more here and there. But I kind of wanted to show y'all that we are getting the cattle in. And hopefully we can do more with them as time goes on. Maybe even expand that operation. And while they were on the way over here, I was doing a little bit of Texting, I kind of got behind, so both of my guys are full right now. So now I get to play the old fashioned game of back in into the field. They have been trucking along slowly but surely, getting as much of this corn done as they can. And hopefully, we won't run over too much of this corn. There we go. This does seem like it's yielding a little bit better, but I do definitely see where we threw down a little bit of lime last year, and I can definitely see where it's made a difference. So maybe this year we need to get a lime spreader for our sprayer. That's gonna be a hefty price. So this would be the lime spreader we would have to get and this is going to run at sixty five thousand dollars or we could rent one and put it on the back of it for cheaper which we may end up doing more of it ladies and gentlemen it is up to you if we keep on going with this series and not let's get at minimum 500 likes going for this mega cut ladies and gentlemen thank you all so very much for love and support you i give for the mega cuts and for the main series ladies and gentlemen this is one of the first times i've ever really produced one of these mega cuts for by myself ladies and gentlemen if you like this type of content you want to see more of it please leave a like subscribe do what you do best ladies and gentlemen no further ado we'll see you next time peace